How to use a multi-user plan in Quotation Maker. Go to Settings. Go to Subscription. You have to buy a base plan to use the multi-user feature. Now you can buy the multi-user plan. The account you used to buy the plan will be the admin account. After purchasing a plan, restart the app and go to Settings. In Settings, you'll see the multi-user management option. From here, you can manage sales users and control their access. Click on Manage Users, where you can create and manage users. Now, let's add a new user. Fill in all the user details to add them. If you want to make this user an admin, enable the option. Once you fill the details, click Save to add the user. The new user has been successfully added to the list. The email you add here will receive the user ID and password for login. The new user can now log in using the ID and password. Let's understand the difference between user and admin access. Now, go to business section. As an admin, you can edit business and bank info, but users cannot. Now, go to the customers section. Both user and admin can add customers. However, admins can edit or remove any customer, while users can only edit or update customers they've added. Now, go to product section. Admins can add and edit product categories, but users cannot. Now, go to appliances category. Here you can see admins can add and edit products, but users cannot. Now, go to terms section. Here you can see admins can add and edit terms, but users cannot. Let's understand how to use sales user settings. Go to settings. Go to sales user access settings. Here are the default settings for sales users. If the admin disables the display quotation option, the user won't be able to see the quotation option. Similarly, if the admin disables the display invoice option, the user won't be able to see the invoice option. Likewise, if the admin disables the display purchase order option, the user won't be able to see the purchase order option. Likewise, if the admin disables the display proforma invoice option, the user won't be able to see the proforma invoice option. Similarly, if the admin disables the display delivery note option, the user won't be able to see the delivery note option. By default, the allow create, edit, delete product option is off. But if the admin enables it, the user can create, edit, and delete product categories and products. Similarly, if the admin enables the allow create, edit, delete terms and conditions option, the user will be able to create, edit, and delete terms and conditions. The display other sales users customers option is on by default. If you turned off, the user will only see the customers they've created and not those added by others. Let's see the document settings. Admins can see all quotations along with the user who created them, while users can only see their own quotations. Here's how the filter options work. Admin can filter quotations by salesperson name and date, but users can only filter by date. Admins can also reactivate deactivated users when needed. Click on Deactivate. Now you can see the user is deactivated. You can also reactivate the user anytime. The user has been activated successfully. Thank you for watching.